The Style of Christmas. Hi, everyone. Do you want to make something absolutely delicious for your family tonight? Do you have a dinner party coming up? Well, we have got the man with the plan. His, his <laughs> name is Giuliano Hazan, and he is the author of Every Night Italian. Good to have you here, Giuliano. Well, it's great to be here, Cindy. I uh, got to admit, I've, I've, I've taken a little taste of this, and it's a pork loin, right? Yes. Oh, yes. and it is really tender and delicious. Well, thank you. What have you done? Well, I'll show you how I did it. Okay. This is pan roasted pork loin with uh, apples and plums, or this time I'm making it with apricots. Ooh. But either way, it's a great festive dish. It sounds wonderful. And okay. pan roasting is really a very common technique in Italian cooking. Ah, the and whole thing? You don't ever put it in the oven? I never put it in the oven. You know, uh, uh, not too long ago, most Italian families did not have ovens in their kitchens. Aha. Uh -huh. So if they had to bake something... How did they make their pizza? Well, the pizza they went out for, <laughs> but if they had to make lasagna, they would bring it to the local bakery, and okay. they would bake it for them. Really? I didn't yes. know that. Okay, I've got an apricot for you. You do? What are you I going to do with it? I was for an apricot. Here you go. I just happen to have you one. You just happen to have one. There you go. Well, I want to show you how to peel the fruit for this. Okay? You have to peel the apricot? You have to peel the apricot. The skin is tough. Okay. Okay, so first I cut it open in half because it's easier to remove the pit that way. You can just twist it open like this. Oh, look at you. And remove the pit. And then, it. normally, you know, something soft like this is kind of hard to peel. Uh huh. But if you use your peeler in a back and forth motion like this, you can peel it so much more easily. Look, wow. it's falling apart. It doesn't look so I'm easy. I'm still huh? being able to peel it. You're good. You see? That's why you're professional. And then I cut it all up. Mm -hmm. Now, first step in pan roasting is searing the meat. So yes. here we are searing our pork loin. We want it to get a little brown. And I have one already made. So we're going to do this a little bit faster yes, than Yes, we usual. are. Okay? Why is it so important to sear the you meat? You get all that nice caramelization on the meat. And you get what I call the tasty bits at the bottom of the pan. Oh, yes. Okay? Yes. We like the tasty so bits. And you don't season it until you take it out. So let's okay. say it's nice and brown now. We're going to take it out. We're going to put it there temporarily. So we're going to put some uh, onions in. So if you only have one pan, this <laughs> you take it out, and then you put your onions well, in. Well, that's or would you do like a plate, whatever. Okay, you know, got something to so put So we're pretending this is done. It's not done yet. Oh, stop. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't worry. Stick with the then program. I'm going to saute the onions. They get a little bit brown. Uh-huh. I'm going to put my fruit. This is the apples and the apricots. Oh, that sounds good. I'm going to stir them around a little bit. I'm mm. going to season them with salt and also season our pork with salt now that it's come out. Ah. Because you see, if you season it when it's searing, it releases moisture and it won't sear. Oh. A little bit of pepper. Good to know. also good. Yes. And then some red wine. Oh, okay. goody. And you should use a wine that you wouldn't mind drinking a glass of while you're cooking, okay? Don't use a bad wine. That's to my cook motto. With. Okay. Try not to drink it all while you're cooking. You just let the wine bubble away and the alcohol evaporates. Yes, so the whole family can enjoy And then what happens it. is you put the pork back in. Uh -huh. You see? Uh -huh. And then I turn the heat down, I cover it with a lid. Yes. Slightly askew, some, uh, some evaporation goes, mm -hmm. and then you just leave it for about an hour and a half. You go play cards? Well, you, you should come back, like, you know, once in a while to turn it okay. and make sure it's okay. Throw in a DVD? If, sure, <laughs> absolutely. Watch a nice holiday movie. And let this thing cook, <laughs> right? Exactly. And if all the water has evaporated, you just add a little bit of water. Not wine. Not wine, because we've got enough of the wine flavor in there. It's got just it. the water that's evaporated out. So this is our and finished product? And then an product? hour and a half later, here it is. Now, oh. here I put some ribs in there, too, because oh. when you cook it with the ribs, it really gives it a wonderful flavor. Uh-huh. Okay, so can I give you a little Please. bit more to taste? Believe me, I don't think I got enough already, the first time, yes. But here it is. I have to tell everybody that this is the best, honest to goodness, the see, best I've had Pan ever. roasting is a very easy way to cook something. Oh. And when something's in the oven, I never really know what's going on in there, and you're right. worried about overcooking. Here, you can't overcook it. Well, because the longer you cook it, the more tender it is. Very good. Giuliano mm. Hazan, he is the author of Every Night Italian and three other books. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Cindy. Dave, over to you.